Hello and welcome. You are here with me, jewelry designer Jill Maurer, and also estate jeweler Donnie Grissom. Hey! And, <laughs> and his dog Cece. This is a standard Cece, poodle. Look at the camera. She's a sweet look at thing. The camera. Say, please don't push my head like that. <laughs> <laughs> Who just simply does not want to be left out of no. this whole situation. Or on the floor. Or on the floor. I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on the floor. She's, she's She's a bit of a diva. Mm -hmm. That's okay. All right. And she loves Prada, by the way. <laughs> Does she? Because um, she ate um, Caitlyn's <laughs> shoes. <laughs> okay. Caitlin, in like um, 20 minutes after she took them off. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Well, we're not letting you anywhere near my closet. Maybe not. <laughs> Today, we are answering one of Bobster 92's questions. What's he up, Bobster? <laughs> Bobby had a question for Donnie to answer, and that was, which Jill Maurer piece is your favorite? And my favorite is a ring that Jill made that has an accompanying band with it, and it is a black diamond. What I love about this ring, the way this is faceted, not only in the stone, it's the way that Jill designed the ring. It is faceted around the surface, the very top of this ring, to copy the facets on the center of diamond. And so it looks sort of very natural, as though you would find it in a, in a cave, sitting like that. And then, of course, it's polished down the shank as well. Then it has a band, the band that wraps around it. So when you, when you take the band and you put the band along with the piece, it looks so natural. It is a great design, and it just flows. I love this piece. I just love this. The history of this diamond. I love this. I don't know how it got to Lee. Do you know how it got to Lee? I don't. All right, so yeah. I purchased this diamond, this black diamond, from Lee Dempsey, who is a mutual friend of ours. And one of the things I had to think about, I can't show you the underside because my logo is there on the underside. The diamond comes to a point at the bottom. And one of the things I had to decide was whether to use this side or the other side in the design because both were beautiful. But Lee sold me this diamond, and he told me later he sold it to me because he just didn't know what to do with it. Lee is an estate jeweler. So and, he, he, and he had the diamond for a long time. A long time. It's, and I think he had planned to make something for himself and then yes, just couldn't decide he wanted, yes. what to do with it. And I don't normally design wedding rings, but I just thought this one wanted to be a wedding ring. And now I have a lot of rings that people use as wedding rings, but they weren't necessarily designed that way. But for me, I just, I loved that look. One of the things I thought is, you know, he deserves a diamond too. So this is for a man or a woman. I don't design for men or women. I just design. And this is, and it really is. Yeah. You, anyone can wear that ring, yes. man or woman, it, it, and it's it can be masculine, and when you put it on, it, it it feels feminine as well because of the way the stone is faceted, and the surface of the ring is. But it 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 works for both. Yeah, this, it's just a great design. This, this is my favorite Jill Mauer piece. It is a one of a kind. It's, and there are a lot of great pieces that I like, it but is, it will not fit me. It will not fit you. We might but have to me, size that for let you. Let me see. It. I. I don't remember the carat weight but, right now. I'll oh, look I up the carat it. rate of that black diamond. And let me take this one off. And if it wasn't, if it was on this finger, mm -hmm. it would look so natural. Yeah. And this is what Jill can give me when we get married. That would work. Mm -hmm. That would work. Yeah. yeah. And you have and, a couple things that would do uh, for yeah, me. Too. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I don't know why I got some stuff for you, girl. <laughs> We can't talk about that on the <laughs> no. <laughs> But this is not for children, Papa. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> not, not for children. It's a monitor down here, by yeah, the way. Yeah, what I'll do is Can I'll make sure see? that I take because some... Because that's just beautiful. Yeah, I'll make yeah, sure I, I take some close-ups with that. that. And, and the then, table of this piece is great. The, the, it has a high table. Yes, yes. And when you design this, it flows up. Thank you. You almost think that the there is a stone here. It's all metal work and you've oxidized the center metal piece to flow with the design that's actually on this end. That is part of it. Yeah, it looks like it's just part of the metal. And it is. Yeah. It's a big old fat black diamond. Let me let me see just... Oh, you got to have it back. No, no, no. Just, oh, okay. just this one too. I also think, and I didn't, I didn't yeah, intend for this to be this way, but that looks kind of cool on its own. It does. It's different. And, and the way you made this, Jill, you could always, if you want I mean, you don't want to, you don't, I wouldn't add anything to it, but you could take, put your hand back up there again, that beautiful little hand again. <laughs> you could always make another band to sit inside of that. Yes, another, yeah. If you just wanted just diamonds in a mm -hmm, band, just white mm -hmm. diamonds, you go, and still accompany with this. You got three bands together mm -hmm, yeah, with that's that. True. Mm -hmm. Unnecessary, 
because it's beautiful the way it is. But yeah, this is my favorite piece. Now that I'm looking at uh, this, I might design a set of stacking rings. That's a great design. For this, yeah, because it is, it is flattering. We're both on looking the hand. down. <laughs> I know, sorry. We're, 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 yeah, we're, we're looking, looking at, at the, the monitor. <laughs> we are. It is flattering on the hand. Let me try it this way too. And just a black band mm -hmm. to go into that. Would be nice. Would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be fun to play with. This is a one of a kind. It is design. It is. I wish it would fit that because I want to see it. We could make that I happen. I can see that. We're going to make it happen. This it one is, might end up being but Donnie's. This may be mine. <laughs> So Bobby, don't even think about buying it. <laughs> right. Don't even think about it. <laughs> that would fit Bobby. Actually, it would be a little bit big on Bobby, but. Uh, oh, well good. It, can't, it won't size down, by the way. I think it would fit Bobby's middle finger. That would well, be that's an inappropriate thing. Because <laughs> I can see how you would make a video out of that one. <laughs> right. Pointing at me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Anyway, but this is one of my favorite pieces, and Jill has a lot of pieces that I adore. Well, thank but you. I do, you really do. You are you are, you are very talented, and it's amazing Aww. some of the designs that you come up with, and um, and I am so happy that you were giving me this. And you know so I love sweet. you. Oh, <laughs> I love you too. Thank you, you know, so much. Really All right, is... Cece, let's go. <laughs> That really is the perfect ring for you because it has it some of me in it and also yeah. some of Lee. Right? Oh my God. Mm -hmm. My favorite two people in the world. Yeah. We are quite the trio. Oh, I should have this. <laughs> it, it would be great. Oh. We're going to make it happen. There you go, Bobby. There is the answer. This is Donnie's favorite Jill Mauer piece. I do hope you enjoyed it. I have got a playlist where Donnie is with me on several videos. Please check that out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. I would love to see you here again. And so would Donnie. Bye, Bye for now. now.